Hype me up, need someone to hype me up. Hype me up, hype me up. Back in week 16, the Chargers lost a shootout in their first matchup against the Bills. Can Buffalo sweep the series? The answer comes your way next on EA Sports. Playoff fever has come to upstate New York, and there's a look at Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the L.A. Chargers taking on the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest. And I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one. Because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And when you get into the divisional round of the playoffs, this is where having the ability to run the football is such an advantage. The defenses, they're generally going to be tougher the further you go along. So if you get something established up front, it's going to give you a great chance to move on. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Again, it's Cook. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. First down, here's the run with Cook. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. 47 yards for him already. An excellent drive to kick off this divisional round matchup. That might be an understatement. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage in their clearing space. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going, and they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another that's going to set up first and goal. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. Cook. Will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. But Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. 
And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. All in all, he was pretty solid in the victory in the wild card round and threw a couple of touchdowns. And when it comes to quarterback play, you'd always love spectacular. But in the playoffs, you'll take solid. And that's exactly what they're looking for from him again in this contest. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. As you can see, they're not operating at full health today, Carl. That's been a big story the last couple of weeks. But the bottom line, their record is solid, and you know that this is still a very dangerous team, even with those guys missing. What they have shown us throughout this season is that this team has stayed focused and some injuries. They're just not going to derail the momentum they've built up all season long. They continue to go out there and play and give their best performances. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he will finally be tracked down at the Bills' 17-yard line. A big play there for L.A. 48 yards on the ground. They needed less than a foot, and they got a lot more feet than that. Quite a run there on third and short. As a running back, you love when the defense is stacked near the line of scrimmage. You know it's going to be heavy slogging in the beginning, but if you break free... Nothing but green grass ahead of you. Yep, smooth sailing and a big run because of it. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. It's Eckler again. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, Eckler. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And it appears we have a Charger shaken up on that last play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Third down and four. Herbert now. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job and it's fourth down. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range. No sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. And this one is right through. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6-3. to three. So the field goal that cuts the lead in half as they, too, are able to get some points on their initial drive of the game. Yeah, all in all, a pretty positive response, right, to the points that were scored against them. And they got a little help from their opponent anyway. Missed the conversion, so now they're just three back. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They start the drive with Cook. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, 
I can stand up with a go. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Khalil Mack able to get him for a loss of about three. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Yeah, he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass, a run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dance up for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a second and one coming up. Here's Allen to throw it. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Allen. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Say hello to Eric Kendricks. He gets the sack there. Brings up second and 20 at the Chargers 46-yard line. On second down, here's Allen. He's got this one complete. Now look at this. Big game by Fumble. But this will get out of bounds. So possession will stay the same. Thankfully for the offense, for two, this bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one. And the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And it's caught. Touchdown. Trent Sherfield. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Bills are able to widen their advantage. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And this not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? But well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness. Maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. 63 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Eckler are going to get it again on second down. And that'll hurt the average. 
what you bet is this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was. And now it's third down. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Here's Herbert. Setting up the screen to Kelly. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 37. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 37-yard line. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. 31 yards there to first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett from six yards away. And the Chargers have cut it back within a score. That, of course, all set up by the big run on the play prior. They took advantage right away with the touchdown throw. And you mentioned advantage, probably taking advantage of their natural instinct after that previous play to be aggressive and rush towards the line of scrimmage. And instead, they were vulnerable to the pass. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And the lead down to three at 13-10. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. Now Hardy on the return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. But James Cook and the Buffalo offense returning to work now. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Now a second and six. Here's Cook again. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Back-to-back -back -back four yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Allen going to go on fourth down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. To the air, Allen. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outta boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Allen to throw once more. Steps away to his left. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before. 
before he takes it inside the 40. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they can at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them in the field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The Charger drive about to get going. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together and maybe get in the field goal range. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Complete to Johnston here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long run. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So it's on to halftime of this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this Divisional Round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Patrick Mahomes leading the way as his guys pick up win number 14 on the year. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Final adjustments are underway in the locker rooms. Which of these two teams will survive and advance to next weekend's AFC Championship game? To find out, we go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Winner go home. That's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And Charles, yeah, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering, how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. 
let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. Oh, and that is incomplete. Fair to say, it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also, I get a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Herbert throwing again. They'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Eckler now between the tackles. Muscles him off. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 109 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this divisional round matchup. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Pass hold in by Johnston. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 16. That one goes for 24 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. And the ball is knocked out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. Now it's Herbert. A quick throw there is incomplete. So he looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his eye on man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Herbert back to the air. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Johnston. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape. with first. Touchdown, Chargers! Donald Perrow taking it in. And the Chargers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half.
Well, he is such a matchup nightmare down near the goal line, CD, and another example right there on that play for the touchdown. It's borderline impossible to defend this guy because that kind of size, he can still get out and run a crisp route, and he has excellent hands. Even if you stick with him, all the quarterback has to do is lob it up, and he can win almost any jump ball. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that will make this a four-point game. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go along and hope someone will come free. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. That is incomplete. Well, you've certainly got to be on your toes defensively when you're facing Josh Allen. He can hit you from any angle. He's got arguably the strongest arm in the business, and he outcourts a deep one here. But that one falls incomplete. Just a crazy throw there, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Michael Davis. He's to the 15, and they will finally get to him, but a great return has set him up first and goal at the 5. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? Rashawn Slater, first-round pick in 2021. Guilty there. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Up the middle with Eckler. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 119 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try to keep going. Back now in Buffalo. It's Charger football, and they've got the lead as well as we begin the fourth quarter. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Five nine, five nine. A shotgun snap for Herbert. This is caught. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. Touchdown! Jared Everett, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Chargers are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Extra point try now from Dicker. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. 
And this one not officially in the bag, but it's looking more and more like you and I are going to be in these same seats next week for a game to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and it's contrary to our meeting with the, with the visitors, wasn't it? Remember when we went over to their hotel before the game, and one of the themes they kept hitting us with was, let's put the pressure on the number one seed and see if they can handle it. Let's, let's do that. Well, they're the number one seed for a reason. Best team all year long. They're showing it again in this game. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Allen. That's to the sideline and incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Now Allen again. And that will be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Now Allen, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Running on first down, Eckler. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get it behind the line. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. Back to throw here, Herbert. And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Setting up the screen for Cook. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. And that is incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. One final try here for Allen. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10.
They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. From midfield, here's Allen. That is caught. Kincaid with it. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Allen again here on second and ten. His throw incomplete. Playoff lives at stake. Boy, this is a big one. Third down. Throwing Allen. Now they go screen. It's complete. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he's... And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like... Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. So certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. Here's Allen. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points that gets them back within a field goal. So they got their touchdown, now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk about what to do next. They'll come up now third and three. Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he will have a charger first down, and that should be the one that gets him to the finish line. First down, charger. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. First and goal at the four-yard line. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. And looking at it from the perspective of the losing side here in this divisional round, it, it all ends so abruptly, doesn't it? A few hours ago, you've got all this hope and anticipation of maybe a deep run, and now you're out of it. Well, let's applaud the team that won, and rightly so. They, they're moving on. They still have a chance to get to the big game. 
but let's not bury the team that lost. We, I think I do a lousy job of illuminating what a great year they had. Let's face it, when it's all said and done, they were one of eight teams left with a chance to get to and win the Super Bowl. That's a pretty darn good season. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.